The tag team division here in WCPW is red hot. Three of the best teams in that division about to compete. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest it is a special elimination three-way tag team match. Coming to the ring at this time, this is the team of Alex Grizzy, Lucas Archer, Ross And Dave, who can forget that incredible, incredible match? that Prospect had at the League WCPW and who can also forget that the audience was a little bit on the side of Prospect. I mean, I, I wanted to sort of get a Ouija board and check with Satan if Howard frozen over. I couldn't believe it, but they were, it was a split crowd. Competed in the pre-show against the Strong Style Collective. Strong Style Collective victorious on that occasion. They became the number one contenders. Introducing the second team in this elimination really weird tag team match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the team of Tyler Bates, Trent Seven, Mustache Mountain! So Crossbait did not become the number one contenders at the lead WCPW, but you've got to think, Alex, whoever wins this triple threat elimination tag match is going to rise right up the rankings and be right in contention for a title shot down the line against Moss and Slater. Well, I've said week after week here on Loaded, but Mustache Mountain are an impressive team. But the one thing they have lacked is that resolute focus on their opponents, thus leading to a win. They were out of the AP Triple T and they had tea, and they had to watch another team walk away with those belts. They are now in with a serious shot to get back in contention and let's hope that that focus is there for this contest because if they don't win this day, they're right down back to the bottom of the WCPW Tag Team Packing Order. Two impeccable gentlemen, Tyler Bate and Trent Seven. You're seeing they like to shake hands with everyone in the front row of the audience. I don't know if that's a, a negative, a disadvantage to, to their uh, ability to win matches, but what certainly is is that once the bell rings, as you say, Alex, they do need to focus on their opponents. But it's about time Mustache Mountain started getting back in the win column. I've said it once, and it's not going to stop me from saying it again. Handshaking does not win wrestling matches. Well, I was going to, say I was going to tell you what I've seen as I was a wrestler, but you know, nearly 20 years, I was going to tell you what does win a wrestling match. Come on, little, you do it. Come on, no, 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 you do it. Come on. With all your athletic achievements, what wins a wrestling match, Dave? No, you go. Go on. I'm fine. You can't even win you're the battle in, against your wardrobe every in, morning. Look how you're dressed. You're in such a scrub today. What's wrong with you? It's tension. By the end of loaded. Martin Kirby might be gone, or he might be the new head of this whole damn company. It's like swings and roundabouts. I hate Adam Pacini as much as the next person as our general manager, but I dread the thing. Imagine Kirby as general manager. Oh, it'll be the best thing. What do you mean? I'm saying it'll be amazing. Bring on the pink. I'd make sure he makes got rid of you first thing. That'd be art. That'd be awesome. I don't know what to make of that. Anyway, Mustache Mountain and Prospect two of our three teams in this elimination match, and here come the third. in tie-dye, I guess it's something of a bond, but nothing is more of a bond than being brothers in blood. That's the advantage that Mark and Joe have, probably have going into this one, not to mention the fact that they made it to the finals of the AP Triple T, and they came inches, in fact millimetres away from leaving with those belts. The key word is they came close. They came close, but they didn't do it. The coffee left empty-handed at Delete WCPW, and that's got to be playing on their mind. They have something to prove as they try and get back on the horse, so to speak, and prove that they are a force to be reckoned with in this highly competitive division. I don't want to get on a horse, Dave. What profit? Stop dabbing. They're not cool. It doesn't make you cool. I've seen some dance move on the internet. I think people will cheer for you if you do it. All cool things in this day and age start on the internet. Take what culture? I started on the internet. Look at it now, taking over the world. I wonder if they ordered that ring gear on the internet. 
some dark corner of the internet. Where did that tie-dye come from? Oh, my, my tie-dye.com. I'm on there all the time. It's where I've got these pants from. I mean, I, I won't show you now, but take my word for it. I mean, you won't show me now. Don't show me ever, ever. The only, the only pants that you can come back home after a night out on, throw up on, and uh, they look exactly the same. It's fantastic. It's Lucas Archer going to start out against Joe Coffey. Archer immediately rolling through to a sunset flip. Coffey rolls through to escape, and Coffey's going to go for an early giant swing, maybe. Archer was able to get out. Went oh. for the black Coffey early. Wheelbarrow there by Lucas Archer. Cool. Oh, look, and a variation of that giant swing. Going round and round and round is Archer. And parted face first. Coffee will go for the cover. It wasn't it was quite a giant swing, it was more of a large man swing. It was still effective. What? You can talk what now. What are you talking about? I wanted to emphasize that this is not under triple threat rules. So if you're Mustache Mountain in that pinning situation, you, there's no gain to you trying to break up the pin. In fact, it suits you for one of your two opponents to be eliminated. Well, why didn't you just say that? Well, it have now. Such a pedant. The future of the company hangs in the balance, Dave. It was recently going to be deleted. We got over that, and now it might be Kirby might be gone. It's like the franchise player. Well, Matt Hardy's still here. Maybe he'll delete you. That was uncalled for. Diving. I've been so civil. <laughs> oh yeah, really civil. <laughs> Diving uppercut from Mark Coffey, elbow into the corner, but nobody home. And Gracie takes him down with the avalanche. What is this from oh. Gracie? Oh, Dave. Look at the... Oh, oh, you know what's coming? You know what's coming? Oh, God, no, oh. no, no. Oh, the bottom facey of Gracie. This what, is... What kind of psychological issues do you have to have to have a picture of your own face on your posterior? Oh, it's the Grace face. The Grace face. Oh. That is disgusting. I don't think he realises that not, that's not Mark Coffey's boot. It's, it's his, not his face, it's his boot. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. You're welcome. More dabbing as uh, Gracie picks up his pants from around his ankles. Gracie walks into a chop block. Ah. And Coffee, Mark Coffee, is uh, taking control against Gracie, who quickly tags out and tags in one half of Mustache Mountain, a 19 year old Tyler Bate. I don't know if I want that towel in my corner. Bate, the only member of Mustache Mountain to have picked up any kind of victory here so far in WCPW. A singles win against Liam Slater a few weeks ago on Loaded. Liam Slater, who's what now one half of the WCPW Tag Team Champions. Okay, Tyler Bate is making them wait. That rhymed, well done. I'm a poet and I didn't know, I didn't know it actually. I'm the king of puns. Here we go. And Bate stepping into the ring in gentlemanly fashion. Tyler Bate wasn't worth the wait on that one. I thought we were going to see that amazing uh, Lucha. Well, find something that rhymes with Lucha. Lucha. Oh. Which you might not have if Martin Kirby becomes the new GM. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, we'll worry about that when we get to it, if we get to it. Kirby with odds to overcome. He's handicap situation him and Matt Hardy two against three against Pachiti Club but Bate meanwhile elbow to the side of the face of Mark Coffey picks him up slams him down wow. does Coffey and there you see the strength of the Coffey brothers tag to Joe Coffey and I've always been impressed by Joe Coffey but I'm even more impressed I've got to say with them as a tag team Mark and Joe there's just something special about these guys Joe charges at Bate who brings down the top rope Coffee to the outside, here comes his brother Mark. And Tyler Bates sends him to the outside too. Now what is Bates thinking? Are we going to see something as high flying as that ring entrance he just made? And here, what is Bates doing? I've got baited breath. Will you stop it? Bates to the ropes and Gracie! I don't know what Bates had planned but Takeoff was aborted on the runway. Gracie, very pleased with himself. He debated it, and then he changed his mind. Okay. Oh, Gracie is going off the ropes. Again, will someone stop him doing that? This is so unpleasant. 
OK, you've gone quiet. I'm just, I'm just working out where I can get a pair of those underpants. Well, you want a pair of underpants with Alex Gracie's face on the back? Wrong, Alex. I, I'd settle for those. Hold on. Wait, here's the ropes. Oh. Bate trying to go again, and this time it's Lucas Archer who cuts him off. Gracie's Pre partner. Precision kick like an archer, but without the arrow on the boat. Precision kick. Look at this. Oh. Archer to the outside. No one there. That wasn't so precision. The most accurate of archers, maybe. Joe Coffey with a chop across the... Or Tyler... Or Trent Seven, excuse me. Spit it out, Bradshaw! <laughs> with the chop across the chest of Mark Coffey. There we go. Got there in the end. And Tyler Bate. He is having a master bait in his head once again. Oh, I mean, I mean... Oh, throw one. No, I just... Throw one. What's going... Tyler Bates! Oh! Diving! And finally, someone launches and someone makes impact. That someone is Tyler Bates. Triple threat tag action here on Loaded. What a night we're having in Newcastle. And what a night we're going to have. That main event, Dave. Oh, the future of the company in the balance. Will, that, will Martin Kirby become the general manager or will he be fired? We'll find out later. Here comes Lucas Archer, drop kick to Coffey. He sends Mark Coffey to the ropes. No, he doesn't. Reverse of the Irish whip by Mark Coffey. Gracie in to lend his partner a hand. And in this case, lend him an elbow, elbow to the face. Like a charging European uppercut and a charging boot by Tyler Bate. But he hasn't seen the one man still standing in that ring. The Iron Man, Joe Coffey. Brent Seven, the partner of Tyler Bate, is now in the ring and looks like they are going to continue to unload on Lucas Archer and on Mark Coffey and now on Joe Coffey and Alex Gracie. But this is what you've been talking about, Alex, and you know, one of your rare good points, Moustache Mountain take sometimes a little too long posturing and showboating and maybe that's what's contributing to the fact that they haven't been able to win a tag match. My rare good point. I'm going to stick the rare point of my finger in your eye in a minute. A bit more respect for your commentary partner. Oh, look at... Oh, no, don't do... Oh, this is just... Oh, it's heinous. In the anus... Oh, oh, he's got another pair of pants. How many pairs of pants has he got? I hope... Oh, he's got I, a I hope there's more. He's got a flesh-coloured pair. Oh, no. Oh. Who wears three pairs of pants? It's cold in Newcastle. Archer has his own partner in a oh. slingshot strike across the face from Bate on Gracie oh what they're going for here look at that look at the strength of Tyler Bate perfect bridge two and a whoa 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 my god I mean that was it was in moments like that you realise just how good Tyler Bate is for such a young man but it, not good enough to walk out here as a new number one contender for the WCP 11 tag team titles and don't forget that wouldn't have been the end of the match either. This is elimination rules, so the match would have continued just with two teams left. And oh. Double team by Gracie and Archer on bait. Mark Coffey back in. And Joe Coffey, his brother, oh. launched into the uppercut. And Archer in a world of trouble. Oh, they, it's Black Coffey. That's the it. Cover by Mark Coffey. That's it, yeah. And Crossbait are eliminated. Crossbait have been eliminated. You can't take moves with that force and impact in that quick succession and kick out. I'm sorry, but the coffees are incredible. When they're on a roll, Dave, they're unstoppable. Mark Coffey takes a heel to the back of the head from Tyler Bate, who has been on fine form in this elimination tag match. It's the Coffees, though, who have the only fall of the match so far, eliminating prospects. We're down to two teams. Bate trying to Strike repeatedly to Joe Coffey in the left side of his jaw. Surprisingly getting the upper hand, but for how long? Well, there we go. Oh, Black Coffey attempt. That long, Dave. That long. Black Coffey to the back of the head. Oh, he's setting up for the... Oh. What's he doing? Joe Coffey going to the ropes and... Oh, oh my God. Well, Joe Coffey accidentally taking out his brother, Mark, the miscue from the Coffey brothers. They try that double team Black Coffey again, and Mark just got the angle wrong, and it set... Oh, wow, that was, that was bad. Trent Seven has Mark Coffey lined up. Slap across the chest, big boot from Tyler Bate. And the chop into the German oh. suplex. The bridge by Tyler Bate and Mustang Mountain win their first tag match in WCBW. And gentlemen, the winners of the three-way elimination tag team match, Mustache Mountain.
Mountain! Mustache Mountain overcoming Prospect and the Coffee Brothers to win their first tag match here at WCBW. But not only that, the other news here, what happened between the Coffee Brothers, that miscue, ultimately, Alex, is what cost them the match. Just like your parents found out about what 30 years ago mistakes happened. Once they do happen though, Dave, it's impossible to unhappen them. That un could be them. unhappen them. That's the word, I've just said it. I've said it around the world. It's, it's in the public domain now. And the, the Coffee Brothers, that was a big, big mistake. That has cost them dearly because we have brand new number one contenders to the WCPW Tag Team titles. And I've got to say it, Dave, I was wrong. You can shake hands and win wrestling matches. I can't believe I just said I was wrong. We, we don't actually know for sure that this is going to make them number one contenders. We do know absolutely that it's going to raise them right up the rankings. And if they're not number one contenders, they're going to be there or there oh, about. How can you how can you not go to a number one contendership spot, Dave, if you've just gone through two of the best sack teams in the company? There's an argument for it, particularly because Tyler Bate already has a pinfall on one half of the tag team champions. I'm making a prediction. I put money on it. Go on. You're making a second good point of what you're doing. Someone call the newspapers. I'm full of good points, I'm like a compass shot. Mustache Mountain, Trent Seven, Tyler Bay, having fun here in Newcastle. After their first tag team victory. What a moment for Mustache Mountain here on Loaded. Matt, Matt, there you are. Matt, Matt, yes. where have you been? I have been out here drawing power from this building. That is what I've been doing. What is your mindset? You know we have a big match tonight. If you do not win, your career is deleted. But when we render those three obsolete mules and we delete them, then Adam Pichetti, he's over. Let me see your mindset. Ow. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yes. You are ready for war. Because this is the greatest war we will ever, ever endure. Tonight, Broken Bart Hardy and Rod Kirby, we must render these men obsolete forever! What, what are you shouting for? I'm stood here. Have you been drinking? Of course I have not been drinking. I have been drinking from the Fountain of Life for 2009 years. Tonight, to Martin Kirby, I need you at your finest form because you and I are going to delete, 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 delete! Ah! Hello there, everyone. This is your local hero, Joe Hendry, with a special announcement about WCPW. And no, it is not that I will be playing the PlayStation. It is that we are coming to Edinburgh, making me the true local hero. Look at my sparkly jacket. Isn't it lovely? All of your favourites from the roster will be there at the Meadowbank Sports Centre on January the 29th. Is it my sparkly jacket lovely? Well, local here, you're probably asking yourself, what will you see if you buy a ticket to this prestigious event? Well, let me tell you, you will see an episode of Logan. Here's a WTF moment for you! No discernible talent of my own, I'll just jump back and forth and shout and make fun of people that actually do have talent because I can't do fortune anything. I sit behind the desk, me, and do nothing, nothing. But I've got more followers than Joe Hendry. What the fudge? It's what I would say if I cared, cared about your opinion. But the fact is, WCPW will be live in Edinburgh January 29th at Meadowbank Sport Centre and you will be seeing the local hero, Joe Hendry. You will be seeing... No! Joe Hendry! No! All the way King Ross right here in this video. <laughs> 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 and you will see... You will see... <laughs> all of your favourite roster members. Mom! Mom! 